How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Turn down for Waltz here, and we're here to present the 2022 edition of the Smash Top 100. Since 2013, community leaders, top players, and analysts of the scene have come together each year to celebrate the 100 best Smash players in the world. After a short break, we're so excited to return the series to its roots. In addition to bringing back SSBM rank for Super Smash Bros. Melee, we'll be launching the first ever Alt rank, a list of the top 100 Super Smash Bros. Ultimate players over the last six months. SSBM rank was determined by a community panel managed by Melee Stats and Melee It On Me. If you'd like to learn more about each of these rankings, check out the introduction and methodology piece listed in the description. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. After a relatively lackluster finish on the summer rankings, Axe came back in full force. In the second half of the year, he took two sets off JMook, defeating Zane, Slug, and Laud too. Above everything else though, he's been extremely consistent. Save for a drop set to Mech early in the season, Axe destroyed everyone outside the top 25. There's no denying the fact that Axe looks the best he's been in a few years. With that said, he has some hurdles to overcome if he wants to return to his top 5 spot. The most obvious one that comes to mind is Hungrybox, but what's secretly been his biggest challenge has been the Spacies. Magi, Pipsqueak, Moki, Leffen, IVDW, and Mango have combined for 11 of Axe's losses over the past year. If Axe can clean up his gameplay against Fox and Falco, he'll be right back in contention for winning majors. That, and that you, you gotta know too, when Axe nares at you, he's gonna cross you up. Jamelook not ready for that offense coming in from Axe. 3-0 victory. Oh, so it's up when he gets the grab. Tech chase? He gets the grab. Tech chase again? Dude, the platforms oh are literally not here when he needs them. He's keeping oh going. Oh my when god, he has them that is so insane. Oh my god, I'm so bad. No chance, no it. chance. Why can't I side me? With Wobbling Band, many Ice Climbers players have been working hard to adapt their character to the changing metagame. But in spite of this adversity, one Ice Climbers player in particular has only gotten better and better with these new restrictions, Slug. Philly's very own champion came back to offline play with a vengeance, and his 2022 was highlighted by a series of incredibly impressive fourth place finishes. He reached that benchmark at Double Down 2022, Ludwig Smash Invitational, and Main Stage 2022. In these runs, he produced incredible victories over the likes of Zane, Mango, Jmook, and Leffen, along with many other top-level threats. Slug is the most recent entrant into the echelon of top 10 melee players, and in the scope of the melee scene being more competitive than ever, Slug has shown the ability to take down any player on any day. Oh, Blizzard! You get one Blizzard every game, bro. And this is the one. <laughs> and there it wow. is. And Slug with the 30 clip. When he's not clutch boxing on the wall of flesh in Terraria, Plup is exhibiting Tash, Sheik, and Fox gameplay at the highest level of Super Smash Bros. Melee. He boasts incredible wins, including sets over Amsa and Zane, as well as four victories over Hungrybox. His two standout runs lie in Smash Summit 13, and following a long-term move to Oregon, his brief return to Florida at CEO 2022. At Smash Summit 13, he defeated Kadoran, Lod, Zane, Jmook, and Hungrybox to finish in second place. Meanwhile, his loser's run to win CEO began with him eliminating Hungrybox at fifth place and ended with him winning 6-0 in Grand Finals against Magi, the one who put him in losers. Having made Grand Finals at half the events he's entered in 2022, Plup has demonstrated that with a little more attendance at some of the bigger events next season, he could regain his former spot in the top five. Plup, back airs her without the jump, um... and that short's not gonna cut it, Plup wins! With the greatest of ease, 6 0. No, he can't oh, let it back. He had it, he had it. Leffen had it. Had it. Leffen had it. I had thought it. he had it. No, oh, no, I thought oh, he had it. Oh, my and God. And Leffen with the four stock. Leffen is optimistic. Leffen's last pre COVID ranking was number two in the world, up from number three in 2018. Then, halfway through the year, he runs over almost everyone with his Fox and runs over Zane with a brand new Sheik to win Battle of BC4. Whispers of a run to number one began. His head to heads were outstanding. The gameplay was clean. Was Big Left here? But after a disappointing Big House, the whispers receded. Still, each win was hard fought. You could watch in real time as Leffen shook off the rust of travel, jet lag, juggling other games, and raising a puppy to scrape together wins. Maybe you got distracted by airtime limit jokes after losing to Hungrybox at the Ludwig Smash Invitational, but don't forget that Leffen had to beat Laud, IBDW, Jmook, and Wizrobe to place third. 
Leffen has plenty left to fight for, and he routinely lets us know how excited he was to play, to compete, to look forward. When Leffen says he'll make it work, we believe him. Now, go look at pictures of Toto. One more. I don't know if he does he have a I jump. think that's it. No. That's it, and Leffen wins Battle of BC. <laughs> oh, nice I grab. Oh, oh that might be it. That's, 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 a, that's a handshake. Oh, wait. The oh, wait. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yo, yeah. relax. Oh, he hit him with the GG's, brother. Yeah. Have a safe play. That was yeah. nice. 2022 has given rise to many incredible breakouts, but it's impossible to even imagine stacking up to JMook's status quo demolishing year. Never before in the history of Melee has a player seated outside of the top 20 Jay walked his way into Grand Finals at his very first Genesis. Never before has a player catapulted himself into the absolute peak level of the game and at the same time maintained the needle's eye consistency of placing within the top 8 of every major he's attended. Never before have we witnessed a formerly unranked player grab wins against every single member of the top 15 with whom he played at least two sets. Sheik players across the globe wait patiently for the day of his inevitable major victory. But the New York Ninja has unquestionably proven that precise preparation, incomparable confidence, and impeccable posture are a recipe for success beyond your wildest dreams. Dash attack too far away to convert. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Jay Mook does it with the pop up. It doesn't matter if you're the best player in the world. Oh, oh off stage. Is, this, there. is this a clutch watch moment, or is this going to be? Solo Sheik's moment. Oh, I think, I think that's, that's, it, it. that's it. And Agebox bringing it back in two sets, throwing oh. the chair onto the ground. Questions abounded when we returned to land melee. Were Hungrybox's lackluster netplay results and notable streamer successes harbingers of his reign's end? Did he have any chance at a fourth official number one in a row, or even a sixth consecutive top two spot this year, if his toughest rivals kept running up their records against him? After his three first place finishes at Gommel, Wave Dash, and Riptide, you'd have been a fool to count him out of getting it done when the chips were on the line. Especially terrifying was how he did it. Hungrybox fused new matchup technology with old tricks to crack losing streaks against Zayn and IBDW, additionally handing JMook an entire anthology of Joker moments and continuing to never miss a major top eight. Hungrybox in 2022 found the balance, doing it for the content while still forcing every number one contender to schedule long practice sessions versus an entire league of rising Jigglypuff mains at every major to stop him. It took perhaps the greatest incarnation of aggregate talent and drive from his contemporaries to deprive Hungrybox of a fourth crown. God help us all if he masters the reaction tech chase rest. So long ago. There you go, the delayed pop off. For someone who just can't seem to catch a break, IBW had performances in 2022 which were nothing short of stellar. Despite having to navigate a year fraught with intense personal obstacles, IBDW came out on top at Smash Summit 13, Double Down, and Phantom 2022, landing top three podium finishes at no fewer than seven majors. Boasting some of the best head-to-head -head records in the entire community, IBDW has winning records against five of the top eight players on this list, a feat only shared by AMSA. For as amazing as his performances have been, nearly all of them give off the impression of a version of IBDW which isn't all the way actualized yet. The world may not be ready for a reality where IBDW gets to really focus on competing and live a quiet, normal life otherwise. Maybe we'll get to see that reality in 2023. Or maybe, if his slippy rank streams are any indication, quiet and normal may have never been his thing anyway. He DI's back throw uh, yeah. in. That's this an F smash. Insane. This oh! is insane. Wow. The forward smash he getting baited. Panic. Bro, Cody. In hindsight, Mango's April to July slump was only four tournaments, rather than a sign of anything meaningful. You all know what happened afterward, the 2021 number one went right back to winning a bunch of majors. As a result, it's tough to find one standout performance to choose from Mango's year. For sheer dominance, his Smash Summit 14 is a great choice, as he only dropped six games, blitzing through Sunsei, Kadoran, Leffen, Hungrybox, Amsa, and IBDW to win the event. You can't go wrong with his Super Smash Con win either, in which he got his revenge over Hungrybox and Lod, both of who had beaten him earlier in the year. But we're gonna go with something different. 
The real testament to Mango's greatness is the taken-for-granted way his Falco has trounced the top box players. Against top 25 representatives of the game's definitive character, playing the other end of its most volatile matchup, Mango went a combined 13-2. and two. Will anyone catch up to the master of Falco Fox in 2023? If the answer is no, we can expect to see Mango right back up here in 2023 maybe even at number one. They forgot the first commandment, thou shall not sleep on the kid! In 2014, AMSA properly announced his presence to the world of Melee by defeating Mewtwo King at Kings of Cali 4. Eight grueling years later, he became the first ever Yoshi player to win a major at the Big House 10. Even Bobby Scar, who commentated both sets, could not contain his disbelief when he exclaimed, A Yoshi? It was a miracle, a once-in-a-lifetime, you-had-to-be-there moment. A little bit more than a month later, AMSA did it again at Apex. Then, at the Scuff World Tour, he put an exclamation point on an almost unbelievable sentence. A Yoshi may be the best player in the world. Amza exemplifies all the reasons to believe in Melee. This game, even the existence of its community, requires so much toil for what can feel like minimal reward. Yet beyond his gameplay adjustments, the final step Amza took to bring his game to the next level was moving to North America. Because this gave his peers more opportunities to fight Yoshi, it was long thought that this type of change would hurt his chances of winning a major. Turns out, Amza won three of them. That's no miracle. That's greatness. Oh, oh. No up air. Catch, there oh. it is! That's it! Oh. Wow! Amsa finds the up air and wins Scuff World Tour! Involved and oh, IBW just doesn't move forward there. Oh, great CC oh, and Zane will and take it with the get combo. Zane. Zane with the pop off. Oh my Thank god. You. I, yo, Phil, I don't think he needs to switch. He doesn't need I yo! don't think he needs to switch. He got that it. That was crazy. He sat on the couch, said it's doomed, and he's just straight up right. Oh my god, the empty hop, that's and that's gonna do so it. Fun. After winning Genesis and Pound without dropping a set, Zane had his sights set on one of the most dominant number one years ever. Instead, what followed was the most tightly contested race for number one in Melee history. There was hardly such a thing as an easy bracket. At each of the majors Zane won, he had to conquer multiple opponents who beat him at some point in the year. Yet where others might have crumbled, Zane rose to the occasion. Once thought to have had a chic problem, Zane turned a long losing streak against the character totally around, evening his records on the year versus Jmook, Leffen, and Plup. Then, after suddenly finding a totally new obstacle in IBDW, Zane defeated him as well. Even Axe, the eternal nemesis of every Marth, eventually fell to Zane, not once, not twice, three consecutive times. For two years, it's felt like we've lived in the era of Zane, but it had never been formally recognized. Today, that changes. Zane has finally and officially earned his spot as Super Smash Bros. Melee's world number one player. This concludes the top 10 ranking for SSBM Rank 2022. Thank you for watching. Please consider supporting the ranking team, and we'll see you next year.